Hey everybody, Wolf Demon here. I uh, kind of wanted to show you how to install Minimator on Debian 12 GNU Linux because it's kind of a confusing process. It's a confusing process to everybody, I think, to a certain extent, um, but it's especially confusing for people on a Linux-based OS. So I'm going to show you how to do it on Debian. I don't know about anybody else, so here we go. So if you go into the Minimator website, um, whenever you click download, there's a big button that says download installer and download archive. This is not what you're looking for. You're either looking for the learn more section on the top or the more downloads installer on the bottom. Why? Well, the reason why is because the installer is for a earlier version that was released in 2021 and it's only for Windows. We're gonna click on the learn more here and we see that we have a Minimator 2.0.2 and then they offer the Debian install. The Debian install by default, if you just go in and you install the deb with the dpackage command, it doesn't work by default. Based on a forum post on there that I made forever ago, I decided to make Minimator install. Uh, Minimator install uh, basically just makes this process really easy. It automatically configures everything for you. You don't even have to think about it. You just follow the instructions right here on the repo and do it. And I'm going to do uh, the same thing that somebody else would normally do whenever they install it. Although mine might show some different output because I've already installed it. So if you go into the releases page, there's going to be a Minimator install. It's just a bash script. If you click on uh, Minimator install sh under assets and you go into your downloads folder, make sure you download Minimator install sh onto your downloads folder and then we'll just open up a terminal here. We're going to navigate to our downloads folder and then what we're going to do afterwards is we see Minimator install to sh. We're going to go ahead and input the command that you're told to input in the readme. So we have the user variable on step three and we go in and we just input the command sudo dash u whatever your username is. So for me it's wolf demon and then bash, and then the script that we're trying to run in case, in this case, uh, minimator install.sh. And then it's gonna prompt you. So this is a very involved script. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work where it does every single thing for you. You do have to intervene as a super user, even things you would normally expect not to have to configure with super user. So just goes over the three steps that we saw in the repo, which is, did you put this script in your downloads folder? Did you run this script from that downloads folder? Like, did I put in the downloads folder and, and am I running it from the downloads folder? And then are we running the script with the command that I said? Here, the, the prompt says Wolf Demon. Whenever you install it on your computer, it will actually repute to you your Debian username. Hopefully that will make it less confusing for everybody that tries to actually install the command. In this case, we did all of those things. So we're going to go ahead and put a uh, yes. Here what it does is it directly downloads the deb from the download page. If we go ahead and just input my super secret password, then it'll execute the command. Here, the script installs different dependencies that I already have, so that's why it's saying that I already have everything on the newest version. It'll also install some stuff that isn't necessarily needed, and it'll tell you to use sudo apt auto remove, which you can do. Here, it's telling me that there's a symbolic link that has to be made on a certain dependency, so it's already done that for me already because I've already downloaded it with the Minimator installer, so this tells me that it's already existing, but for you, it shouldn't give you any of that feedback that I just highlighted. The only thing that you really have to do right now is at the prompt at the end, you have to do this command. So you can copy this command and put it in your terminal. And this is just the normal dpackage command that takes the deb from the website and installs it for you. And it'll go ahead and install Minimator. And uh, if everything happens to install correctly, then what we can do is we can either open a launcher like D menu, and we have Minimator up here, or we can go onto a terminal and just launch Minimator from a terminal, which is epic and awesome. Um, sometimes, for whatever reason, if Minimator doesn't open automatically, just try the command again. Sometimes you have to put in the command two times. Don't ask me why it does that, how it does that, whatever, it just does. Sometimes you gotta run it twice. It's not all the time. It's not most of the time, but it will happen sometimes. Um, and that's the only thing that I've figured out fixes it is if you just relaunch it again, um, it should work. But otherwise, you have a instance of Minimator running and you can go ahead and, and do whatever you need to. Um, so hopefully that helps. Have a wonderful day.